Let's focus entirely on the Pages panel on the right. This is not an uncommon document. There are a bunch of master pages in it. That's not uncommon. Complex documents like magazines, like longer technical books, like many other types of publications, may include quite a few different master pages. And if you leave them at their default names, it gets confusing as heck. If I shrink this down so you can see the document pages, how do I know what H is? How can I tell the difference between H and G? And yes, I could look at the thumbnails and I can go to the panel flyout menu and go to panel options and make my master previews much larger, but that just takes up unnecessary space. I don't need to see them. And more importantly, master pages are largely blank. They don't contain much content other than some small elements that you want to apply to document pages. And then you'll fill in the main content on the document pages. So big thumbnails of master pages won't do me a whole lot of good. It's just not very useful. But if I left it like this, that becomes confusing for me and for anybody that comes after me. Let me switch over to a different document I've prepared here. This becomes a lot more useful. So let's say this master page, three column, multi-vertical, got multiple ad spaces, three column, multiple horizontal, multiple horizontal ad spaces, four columns, multi-vertical, four column, multi-horizontal, extended left one page, extended right read page, extended right read two, TOC pages, full page illustration, two up illustrations horizontal, two images stacked, two up illus vertical, two illustrations side by side filling up the page, and so on. You can rename the masters, and I encourage you to do so. Rename them to something that makes sense and change their symbols. These to the left of the dash are the symbols. 3CV, that tells me three column vertical. 3CH, three column horizontal. 4CV, four column vertical. TOC, table of contents pages. FPI, full page illo. And then those symbols down in the document pages become meaningful. So now I can scroll through my document pages and instantly understand what configuration each page is. This is a four column multi horizontal. And of course it pops up when you mouse over it, but you don't have to mouse over it. You can just tell at a glance what every page is. This is what you should do with all of your publications that contain more than two or three master pages. The way to rename a master page so that you get something like this, and we'll work with L here, highlight the master page. And there's a few different ways. You can right click and choose master options for L master, or highlight it and go to the panel flyout menu and choose master options for whatever you've chosen. And that brings up this. Now you can put in a prefix up to four characters. So let's say this is going to be, we'll change the name first, back page teaser. I may change the prefix to tease. Click OK, and there it is. So now if I apply this to a document page, you can see right in the top right corner, tease. That's a no-brainer. I know exactly what that is because the symbol communicates to me. Do that carefully for your master pages. Give the symbols as much meaning as you can within those four characters so that telling at a glance what they are is possible. And then give them more meaningful extended names so that in the list at the top, if you don't recognize or forget what a particular symbol means, you can just glance to the top and see it all spelled out four column multi horizontal. This will save you tons of time, particularly if you're in a periodical workflow and if you're collaborating with other designers.